First, we will look at the proper execution of a high row or modified lat pull down. Sitting straight up and down on the bench with your pelvis, rib cage, and head vertically aligned. Draw the shoulder girdle down onto the rib cage. Then continue to pull with the sides of the back as the arms follow through down to your sides. It's the sides of your back that do most of the pulling. Try not to pull in between the shoulders, either high or low. Do this by first allowing your shoulders to elevate and then pull them down to the sides, lock them in place, and continue that feeling as the arms pull down and you try not to arch your lower back, thus causing a disruption of your rib cage, which is the foundation of your movement. Here you see improper form and the results you get when the shoulder girdle is not adequately stabilized on the back. You'll see this most commonly when the weight is too heavy or the movement is done too quickly. If you tend to be arched or hunched in your upper back, then it will be nearly impossible for your shoulder girdle to achieve its proper position on the rib cage before you pull down. Thus, you will have no choice but to use the muscles of your middle and upper back, causing possible rotator cuff injury and cervical neck issues. If you tend to be a little kyphotic or rounded upper back, lean back off of the weight and try to lift the chest up to the weights as it comes forward, controlling your shoulder girdle as best as possible. This may actually be a great way for you to correct your posture. Again, lean back, control the shoulder girdle down as much as possible, and as the arms come down, lift and breathe into the chest. Imagine a line pulling up through the center of your sternum into the cables that are coming down. Here you see an overly arched posture. It's very common in bodybuilding technique, but can often cause an overexplosion of the ribs forward and overexpansion of the abdominals. It also predisposes one to additional breakdowns of the shoulder girdle, over squeezing of the middle traps, and possible injury. Use the connection you have with your core to keep your pelvis in position and your rib cage hovering exactly over it. This is truly what it means to have strong core and strong posture. They are one and the same. Your posture will guide all of your movements provide you with efficient, long-lasting results, and reduce your risk for injury.